Have you ever wondered why the transformer core is laminated? Before we get to that, let's understand what a transformer is. A transformer, in the simplest of terms, is an electrical device that's designed to transform electrical energy. It does this magic through a process called electromagnetic induction. Picture it as a sort of energy exchange service. It takes in energy at one voltage, transforms it, and then outputs it at a different voltage. At its heart, a transformer consists of two or more coils of wire wrapped around a common core. This core isn't just for show. It's a crucial part of the entire operation, guiding the magnetic field from one coil to the other. Without it, our transformer wouldn't be much of a transformer at all. Now that we know what a transformer is, let's delve deeper into the phenomenon that necessitates the lamination of the core. Eddy currents are a key factor in our discussion, but what exactly are they? Well, imagine a serene lake. Now, drop a pebble into it. The ripples that form and circle outward, that's a simplistic way to visualize eddy currents. In reality, eddy currents are circulating currents induced within the core material of a transformer due to the changing magnetic field. Picture the magnetic field as the pebble and the transformer's core as the lake. When the pebble drops, or when the magnetic field changes, it creates these ripples or eddy currents. While this is a natural occurrence, it's not without its drawbacks. These circulating currents can lead to energy losses in the form of heat. Think of it like friction in moving parts. Moreover, they can also cause unwanted electromagnetic interference, which can impact the performance of the transformer. Eddy currents, while a natural occurrence, can lead to significant energy losses. This is where the concept of lamination comes in. The transformer core is laminated to effectively tackle the challenge posed by eddy currents. But how does this work? Well, let's dive into it. The process of lamination involves layering the core with thin, insulated material, often made of silicon steel. This layering technique is not just for show. It serves a very specific and important purpose. By creating these layers, we minimize the effective area where eddy currents can circulate. Now you might ask, why is this important? Here's the thing. Eddy currents, those pesky circulating currents induced within the core material due to the changing magnetic field, can cause energy losses in the form of heat. Not only that, but they can also lead to unwanted electromagnetic interference. Not exactly ideal, right? That's where the lamination comes in. By reducing the area for these eddy currents to move around, we effectively decrease the overall eddy current losses. In simpler terms, we make the transformer more efficient. But there's another layer to this, no pun intended. The insulation between the laminations also plays a crucial role. It helps to prevent the formation of continuous loops for the eddy currents further decreasing energy losses. Think of it as an additional barrier that keeps those troublesome eddy currents in check. So, lamination of the transformer core is a crucial design feature that improves efficiency by minimizing eddy current losses. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. A transformer is a device that transfers electrical energy from one circuit to another. Eddy currents are circulating currents induced within the transformer core due to changing magnetic fields. These currents can cause energy loss and unwanted electromagnetic interference. By laminating the transformer core, we can reduce these eddy currents, thereby minimizing energy losses and making the transformer more efficient. And that's why the transformer core is laminated to minimize energy losses and ensure effective transfer of electrical energy. Thank you for joining us on Electrology. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science and technology.